Just 20 years ago, the idea of traveling under the ocean at speeds comparable to a fighter jet seemed an impossible dream. The most advanced trains back then barely exceeded 300 kilometers per hour on land, and the fastest nuclear submarines didn't even reach a tenth of that speed. Today, that limit has been shattered. What most people believe is a civilian passenger project actually hides something much more concerning. This underwater train is not just meant to connect cities, but to move troops, missiles, and war technology at speeds no radar or Western military can counter. And what truly keeps me awake at night is the fact that, if completed, it could turn the Pacific Ocean into territory exclusively dominated by China. In this video, I will reveal to you the eight secret technologies that make this underwater train faster than a plane possible. Each one represents a key piece of a puzzle that is changing the global order. And when you reach number one, you will understand why even NATO's most veteran analysts are alarmed like they haven't been in decades. Magnetic propulsion capsules that look like something straight out of a science fiction movie. According to documents I've accessed, each capsule is designed to reach 1,000 kilometers per hour underwater, thanks to a magnetic levitation system sealed within pressurized submarine tubes. Each module could carry up to 100 passengers or 50 tons of cargo, maintaining stability even at great depths. To put it into perspective, a Typhoon-class nuclear submarine barely reaches 60 kilometers per hour submerged. We're talking about a difference nearly 20 times greater. Strategically, this turns sea routes into true invisible highways, capable of moving entire troops undetected. But what comes next reveals how they plan to sustain these extreme speeds under the ocean. According to sources in Beijing, Chinese engineers have designed submarine infrastructures at 500 meters deep, with walls up to 12 meters thick made of reinforced concrete and ultra-strong steel. The estimated lifespan is 120 years. These tunnels don't just provide physical safety, they also completely conceal any movement beneath the ocean's surface. Compared to Japan's high-speed tunnels, these are three times stronger and built to endure extreme pressures. Geopolitically, this means China could move strategic resources, troops, or weaponry without U.S. spy satellites detecting anything. If this sounds unsettling, wait until you discover how they make it invisible to detection systems an acoustic camouflage system that turns these trains into true underwater ghosts. Nano-structured polymers coating the capsules reduce sound by 95% compared to a conventional submarine. In addition, this coating absorbs sonar waves, making the train practically disappear from acoustic radar. To grasp the scale, a U.S. Virginia-class submarine is considered the quietest in the world but this train reduces its sound signature even further, leaving the U.S. Navy at a clear disadvantage. The consequence is devastating. America's Pacific Fleet would lose its early detection capability, left exposed to massive surprise deployments. But this is only the foundation. What comes next moves into terrifying territory. An artificial intelligence system that turns the train into an autonomous strategic weapon. According to analysts I've worked with, Chinese AI can calculate over 10,000 routes simultaneously and optimize trajectories in real time, adapting to ocean currents, submarine threats, and foreign surveillance. This system is fully integrated with the Beidou satellite network, giving it independence from the U.S.-controlled GPS. Leaked documents I reviewed indicate this network increases planning efficiency by 40% compared to Western algorithms. The strategic impact is clear. Immediate military deployments anywhere in the Pacific without giving Allied forces time to react. And if this already sounds devastating, the next point redefines the very concept of military logistics. An underwater train turned into a floating arsenal. Each capsule has a maximum load capacity of 500 tons. According to my sources, 
It is compatible with DF-17 hypersonic missiles, capable of reaching Mach 5, and with swarms of submarine and aerial drones ready for combat. This means a single convoy could deploy in hours the equivalent of an entire aircraft carrier. But without being exposed on the surface, the geopolitical implication is terrifying. U.S. bases in Guam, Japan, or the Philippines could be struck without warning. But what comes next turns this threat into something almost apocalyptic. A project seeking to connect continents under the sea. China plans to build submarine tunnels up to 10,000 kilometers in length, allowing trips like Beijing, Moscow in just three hours, with an average speed of Mach 0.9 underwater. This is faster than a commercial intercontinental flight, but without depending on airspace controlled by foreign powers. The strategic impact is monumental. It would eliminate dependence on the Strait of Malacca, a critical choke point monitored by the U.S. Studior Tiuhon Hanantan, and create a self-sufficient Chinese intercontinental logistics network and what I'm about to show you now is even deadlier than any commercial route, a direct connection with China's nuclear arsenal. Sources inside the Pentagon have confirmed to me that China is already working on special capsules capable of transporting nuclear warheads through this system. The estimated deployment time would be just 30 minutes between coastal cities with direct integration to Jin-class ballistic submarines. This means China's nuclear reaction times would be 60% faster than those of the United States. The risk is not only military, but existential. It exponentially increases the possibility of an accidental nuclear confrontation. But none of this compares to project number one, which rewrites the rules of the modern world. And we arrive at number one, the true supersonic underwater train the ultimate weapon of this era. According to privileged information I've been able to verify, the projected speed is Mach 2 underwater. That is, more than 2,400 kilometers h. Each convoy could transport up to 1,000 armed troops and travel 12,000 kilometers without refueling. For comparison, an F-16 flying in subsonic mode is slower than this train, with the difference that here, we're talking about a system completely hidden beneath the sea. The geopolitical impact is apocalyptic. The United States would lose its naval dominance, and China would consolidate itself as the absolute Pacific power. This is not a simple technological breakthrough. It is a definitive shift in the global balance of power. This is what makes this underwater train the most significant threat since the invention of the atomic bomb. What you've just heard are not simple transportation innovations, but components of a system designed for the war of the future. Each number in this list is not an isolated piece, but part of a greater mechanism that is changing the global board. Military analysts I've worked with admit privately that, for the first time in decades, the West faces a technological capability it cannot immediately match. China's submarine train is not a train. It is a strategic weapon able to move troops, launch missiles, and alter trade routes in a matter of hours, able to connect continents without radar detection, able, ultimately, to challenge the entire security architecture that the United States and its allies built since World War II. Two, the conclusion is clear. We are entering a new era where power is not measured only in aircraft carriers or fifth-generation fighters, but in invisible systems traveling at Mach 2 beneath the ocean. And the world is not yet prepared for this reality. Today, we've seen how a supposed civilian transport project is, in reality, the key piece of the most ambitious military strategy of our era. China is not building an underwater train. It is building a geopolitical weapon capable of transforming the global order. The question is, will the West be able to react in time? Are we prepared for a future where entire armies travel under the oceans at supersonic speeds? I want to know your opinion. Is this the beginning of a new submarine cold war? Leave it in the comments, because the conversation on this topic is only just beginning.